everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a tier ranking video. I have not done one of these in a really long time but i'm here to do a writing related one which i've never done before i saw this video over on lisel sambury's channel so i'll make sure to link her channel and the video down below for you guys to check out but this one is all about writer habits and i thought that it'd be kind of interesting to kind of go through all of like the stereotypical kind of writer habits and see what i think about them so without further ado let's get started so first off let's go through the actual tiers so the first one is i'm that bitch which basically just means like yeah i do those things then the next one is down for it which means like i do it but maybe it's not like something that like i always do maybe i don't know meh means i don't really care i guess lol no i don't do it and could die and i wouldn't notice meaning like i don't do it at all don't care about it whatsoever okay so let's get started the first one is early riser meaning that like you wake up really early and that's when you get your writing done that's not me i can tell you right now that is not me so i'm gonna say lol no i mean i kind of wish that i was like more of like an early riser and like i actually do my writing in the morning but that's just not me i much prefer to write like in the afternoon or in the nighttime i just don't do well with waking up early i typically go to bed really late and i like it that way so no i'm not an early riser but the next one is a night owl and i am that bitch i typically do like i said try to write in the afternoon but sometimes it doesn't work that way or sometimes i do work in the afternoon but then i also work at night i do find that i do my best work at nighttime i don't know what it is about it but just something about the nighttime i just work so much better and i find myself being so much more productive so yeah i'm definitely that bitch i'm a night owl for sure so the next one is coffee addict which i am not so could die and i wouldn't notice yeah i don't like coffee i've tried it it's just not my thing and i honestly feel like a fraud because so many writers are coffee addicts and i'm just not i honestly wish that i was but i'm just not i don't like coffee i think it tastes disgusting even if you add things to it it's just not for me i hate the smell of it i hate everything about coffee so no. The next one is playlist making and I am that bitch. I don't always listen to the playlist while I'm writing. It kind of depends. For example, for my book Reasons Why Not To, I made a playlist, rarely ever listen to it. The show must go on. I listen to that playlist nearly every single time that I'm writing. I typically listen to my playlist while I'm writing, but sometimes like if a new song comes out, I'll probably be listening to that on repeat. Like when Driver's License came out, that's all I listened to. When Dancing with the Devil by Demi Lovato came out, that's that's all I listen to for like a straight week. So it really depends, but I do make playlists for each of my books and it's so much fun. But the next one is Tea Lover. Also, I am not, so could die and I wouldn't notice. I also wish I liked tea because like I'm a hot chocolate drinker. That's my hot beverage of choice. And I wish that I liked another one because sometimes I want a hot drink, but I don't want chocolate, you know? Like I'm just not like in a chocolate mood, but I want something like warm to be drinking, but I don't like tea. I don't like things where like you have to try many different flavors before you find what you like, or I don't like things that are like an acquire taste. But like, I just find it so annoying that like, if I want to try to find a tea that I like, I have to like buy all these different teas and try them and then like it feels like a waste of money and a waste of my time and then like I'll just end up disappointed. So I think the only tea that I properly tried is orange pico because that's what my mom drinks but I don't like it so no. Listening to music while you write. I am also that bitch as I just kind of explained in the playlist making one. I listen to music when I write almost exclusively. Sometimes if I like really need to zone in and I'm finding that the music's distracting me then what I'll do is I'll put on like an ASMR room or something like a coffee sound on being or library ambiance usually a library ambiance something that has like fire crackling and like pages moving and like rain really soothes me so i'll put that on i'll still have music on i'll just have it at like a lower volume so i can just like barely hear it because the only time i find music distracting is when i find myself singing along to it more than i'm actually writing so i still like to have the music on just at a volume where i can't easily sing to it and i have something else covering the sound but yeah i'm always listening to music when i write aesthetic making I don't know whether to put that in on that bitch or down for it. Like, I'm not, like, obsessed with doing it, but I do do it for every book. I'm gonna put it in on that bitch because, honestly, I am that bitch. Yeah, like, I literally just made an aesthetic for my new project that I'm obsessed with. And sometimes when I'm working on a project, I'll have my phone background on my lock screen to be that aesthetic to kind of, like, motivate me to work on that book. But I'm, I'm an aesthetic maker. I am that bitch. Journaling. I'm that bitch. I feel like a lot of these, for some reason, are gonna go into I'm that bitch. So I journal a lot about my personal life. I've been doing that literally since I was five, but, like, very consistently 
recently since I was 10. I just love writing down my thoughts about literally everything and anything. I find it so cathartic to write things down and I love looking back on them and seeing where I was a few years ago or even a year ago and see what I was going through and see what I was feeling and I don't know I really really love journaling but like in the writer sense like about actual writing. I do have a bullet journal which I really enjoy. I do that to keep track of my writing and my reading. I just love keeping journals. I just I love writing things down by hand. I just I love journaling. Write in silence could die and I wouldn't notice I think. I don't enjoy writing in silence. I don't know what it is about it but like I do everything with music on. I do literally nothing just silently. I could not tell you the last time that I even tried to write in silence so. Pomodoro. I can't remember what the Pomodoro method is exactly. I think it's something where like you write for 15 minutes and then have like a five minute break. Oh let's google it. Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro Technique is a time management system that encourages people to work with the time they have rather than against it. Using this method, you break your workday into 25 minute chunks separated by 5 minute breaks. Yeah, so it's pretty close. 25 minutes instead of 15. But I don't do this. It's not because like I have anything against it. I just don't. I just don't do it. So I'm just gonna put it in meh because like I'm not like against doing it. I could try it one day, but it's just not something that I currently do. Sprints for life. I do enjoy the occasional sprint. I like doing them if I'm watching a live stream, which I'll admit I don't do very often. I like doing live write-ins sometimes with writing sprints, but I can't say that I do writing sprints in my own time when it's not like a NaNoWriMo or anything like that. I don't typically opt to do writing sprints. Maybe I'd get more done if I did. I think the last time that I did writing sprints without like actively watching or hosting a live stream was maybe back in 2020? Was it 2020? I don't know. There was a camp in NaNoWriMo that I did, I think it was in 2020, where I did a 10k writing day and that I did all of my words in writing sprints. That's because I really wanted to make sure I hit the 10k and I thought that was the best way to achieve that. So I'm gonna put that in down for it. I am down for doing some writing sprints but it's not like a strict part of my routine, you know? Write continuously. What does that mean? Do I need to check Lizelle's video? Okay, so I just referred back to Lizelle's video to make sure that I knew what she meant by that and writing continuously is just like the opposite opposite of doing sprints. Like you just sit down and you just write. I would say that I am that bitch. Although I do typically take like non-scheduled breaks to go on Twitter. So how continuous is that? I don't know. But I don't really do sprints. So I would say yeah I'm that bitch for writing continuously. Handwrite. This one, I'm struggling on whether I should put that in I'm that bitch or down for it because I don't do it when I'm drafting. I'm gonna put it in on that bitch because I handwrite a lot when I'm brainstorming. All of my brainstorming happens on loose leaf paper or in a journal, except for like if I get like a random idea like when I'm out or like in the middle of the night that will go on my phone, but then I'll later handwrite it into my journal. So I do handwrite all of the like brainstorming and all the character profiles that is all done by hand, but when I'm actually writing a book and like doing a proper outline, that's all on my computer. But I do find that ideas tend to flow a bit easier for me when I'm handwriting. I don't know what it is about it. I think there's like an actual like scientific reasoning behind that but I really enjoy handwriting. I love paper. I love pens and so I do really enjoy handwriting. So yeah I am that bitch. Dictation. I'm gonna who could die and I wouldn't notice or lol no. I'm gonna do could die and I wouldn't notice. I'm gonna admit I've never actually tried it before but I am just like the kind of person that like if I'm having an idea and I try to record myself saying that idea out loud or something, I get very shy. <laughs> and I don't know why because like I do things like YouTube, but for some reason when it's things like that, like even when it's like talking to Instagram or talking to TikTok, I get very shy and like scared because I'm like recording myself and I don't know why because like I said, I do YouTube. I'm literally recording myself right now, but I guess it just feels like more pressure in a way. So I've only ever tried like doing like voice memos to myself or like going on my notes app and just like typing out an idea like if it's in the middle of the night and I really don't feel like typing but I really don't enjoy it. I find that I lose my train of thought and I just find that I get self-conscious so I don't think dictations for me. I know that it works for a lot of people and I love that but I, it could die and I wouldn't notice. Typing on that bitch. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just the easiest way for me to get the words down and I really enjoy typing. I really enjoy typing. It brings me a, a lot of joy. Plotting. I am that bitch. I am a plotter through and through, 100%. I write pretty extensive outlines, I would say. Like, I know every single scene that's gonna happen and, like, I know pretty much what's gonna be going down in that scene. There is, like, a bit of discovery writing in it because, like, I don't necessarily have, like, their dialogue written down beforehand. Sometimes I'll have, like, a couple of lines if I 
think of them but i don't like actively try to figure out their specific dialogue i did try to know like kind of what they're going to be talking about like in a general sense just like the topic of their conversations i basically put down as much information as possible to avoid getting stuck while drafting because i find the less information i have the more stuck i get so yeah i'm a big plotter like i do all my character profiles before writing i do heavy brainstorming sessions i create outlines like i have a lot of like pre-writing steps before i actually like allow myself to start drafting so yeah i'm a plotter but discovery writing I don't know if I should put that in meh or lol no because like I said there is like an element of discovery writing for me when I'm plotting it's just like dialogue or like certain descriptions or sometimes my characters take over and I go off outline. I think I'm gonna put it in meh because it's not my favorite thing. I could not discovery write a whole novel. I used to try when I was younger. It did not work for me. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put it in meh. It's gonna stay there. It's not my favorite thing. I much prefer like having a plan maybe that ties into my anxiety because i always need a plan in like real life too i just don't like surprises i guess i don't know i like i like knowing where i'm going where i'm headed i like to know things <laughs> active breaks so walk running etc i'm gonna put it in lol no because i wish i was that person i wish i was a more active person i wish that i could just go on a run or go on a walk but i don't so i'm just gonna put it in lol no because i don't do it and i don't see myself doing it but i wish that i could you know chill breaks i'm gonna put that in i'm not a bitch my chill breaks are usually scrolling through Twitter, watching YouTube videos, watching some TV. Right now I'm currently binge watching How to Get Away with Murder on Netflix and I'm obsessed with it. I like doing chill breaks, you know, just messing around on my phone doing things that don't take a whole lot of brain power. That's my favorite kind of thing. No breaks? Oh no. Could die and I would not notice. I need to have breaks. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like my brain just wouldn't function if I didn't have breaks. I find that creative work is very, very draining through literally creating something out of nothing. So I do need some frequent breaks. Lock your phone. I'm gonna put it in LOL no because I feel like potentially one day I could get to that point where I have to like lock my phone. But no, I don't do that. I feel like I, I need to look at my phone and to check my phone. I need to go on Twitter. I'm not gonna lock my phone. Candles and ambiance. I'm gonna put down for it. Sometimes I am that bitch where I'll like turn all the lights off and just have like fairy lights on and my LED pencil lamp that's on my desk and I'll create that ambiance and then like I'll put a candle on sometimes but it's not like a necessity to get work done. Like I don't have to do that every single time I write. I don't have like a specific scent that I have to have on when I'm writing. It's just something that I do occasionally. So I'm just gonna put down for it because it's not like I said a necessity. Read over work. So this means like you read over your work as you're drafting and go back and edit I guess. I don't really do that i'm gonna put it in meh because i feel like sometimes i do go back if i like don't remember where i left off or if i need to like refresh my memory but i don't really go back and edit as i write sometimes if i have like a specific detail written out in my outline and then i realize i didn't add it then i'll go back and quickly add it but i don't like necessarily edit as i'm drafting never go back I would say I'm not necessarily that bitch, but like I said, I do go back. So I'm just gonna put it in down for it because I feel like that's just what works best for me. It's just like that forward momentum. And I feel like if I were to look back too much, I might get like stuck up and everything and like get too self-conscious to continue because my drafts are quite messy. I'm gonna put down for it. So this is my final tier ranking. Most of it is I am that bitch and I'm okay with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not yet already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!